So we're under a deep fog this morning here in Disturbia. I slept very restlessly as I usually do when we have this fog. It is not normal. Don't tell me it's normal. We have this fog always before there's a spike in temperature. I came to Germany in 1990 and it used to be that we'd have a clear sky at night, the temperatures would plummet, we'd have frost. And this was the case up until around 2009 after the fake economic crash instigated by Obama. Then suddenly we didn't have winter anymore. The seasons began to just merge one into the other and people got used to having the glow ball. The glow ball first appeared, as far as I know, in 2017. This is occult knowledge, this glow ball, because it's not real. It is an illusion, but it does have physical consequences. You see now there's less fog here. Sometimes there's more fog here and less fog there. You see, there's no rhyme or reason to this so-called fog. My window was full. I thought it was full of water. It looked to be full of water, but no, it was also partially frozen. This is completely anomalous. Either it's frozen or it's not. But you get these hybrid situations, you see. That's what the devil loves. He loves these hybrid situations. He's actually working on um, merging everything. Not only the genders, but also the seasons. God, look at the, you can see the fog in these people's headlights. Um, God made many diversifications. Men are different from women. Summer is different from spring. Spring is different from winter. Winter is not fall. But the devil says, oh no, it's, it's all the same, you see. And he's using alchemy to prove it, which is chemistry. It's just chemicals in the atmosphere rather than natural atmosphere given to us by God. We have chemicals in the atmosphere. Now this is interesting. There's very little fog here. And don't say, well, that's because you're going over a bridge and there's no fog over bridges. It's a bunch of baloney. They can put fog in where they want fog. That's my whole point. Oh, yes, you can see the glare here. So there is fog. It's getting thicker. Finally, I realized in 2009, because I thought, you know, this is quite odd. It's two degrees at six o'clock in the, in the afternoon at night. And... You wake up in the morning and it's eight degrees and you've got water on your window. I'm just gonna call it water or rain. It doesn't matter what you call it. It's all the same thing, you see. I'm getting a signal on my camera that looks like they're gonna say that my card is full. That's why I stopped talking for a minute, for a second. Um, yeah, so the thing is, you don't need to know science. You don't need to know all their fake rules. They're lies anyways. You just need to observe and compare what you have now to what always was before. Why is it the same temperature in October and during the day as it was in August during the day. Maybe just a couple of degrees cooler, maybe four or five degrees cooler. How does that work? Well, it works by chemistry. Well, let's just call it chemistry. They're pumping out gases, which are metals based. Mercury is metals based. It is very deadly. It operates on people's nerves. It settles in the brain just like aluminum does. Why, why, why are people unwilling to see the truth? Well, they can't handle it, and they love Disturbia, and they love Mystery of Babylon, and they love their lies and their Krispy Kreme. That's the only reason. 
they don't want to know the truth. I think if they shut their eyes to it, that it just won't happen. And anybody who talks about the truth is negative. You see? You're just labeled negative by these people who hate the truth. These are the actual haters. Look at all this fake fog here. They want to drive temperatures. I had a little bit of frost on my window. Imagine they had not sprayed the skies. How cold it would be. And if it's really cold, they can't keep going on about their glow ball, you see. It's just not possible. What is the purpose of the glow ball? The purpose of the glow ball is to warp your perception so that you cannot discern what is real and what is not real. You cannot discern good and evil. That's what this is all about. Coupled with the fact that the devil wants to change you into his image. The Messiah has an image. We will be like him. We will see him face to face. We will see him as he is. And we will be like him. Satan also has an image. Lot's wife was turned into the image of the beast. She was turned into a stone. She was turned into a rock, a pillar of salt. I've seen pictures of it. I don't know how, you know, I don't know how um, legitimate they are, but I mean, I've seen them. Just look it up. Google it for yourself. Um, yeah, so that's the image of the beast. How is he going to do this? He's going to do the sort of like Frankenstein, you know, how they stuck Frankenstein together with all different parts of corpses that were dug up out of the graves and then he applied electricity. This whole lie about electricity being clean and so forth. Where do you think they get the term or have derived the term electrosmog? It's not clean. Electricity causes heat. But anyway, what they want to do, what Satan wants to do is change you into his image. And they're doing this with the glow ball because the warmer it is, the higher the uptake of nanoparticulates in the blood and the more the blood is changed. Take a look at this. Look at that. It should be pitch dark here, no? It's all shiny because they're blowing gas out of this building. They're fogging up the area. That's why this building is there. Not only do they sell carpets, but it's also an alchemical temple. It's a, it's a temple for chemistry. Chemicals are being blown out of there in the form of fog. You can find articles on the internet about how the fog is killing the forests in California. Well, if it's killing the forests in California, it is probably killing the forests all over Mystery Babylon. Not only is it affecting the, the trees, but it's also killing the animals, obviously. If trees die, there's a lack of oxygen. That's what this is all about. It's not about CO2. In a way, it is also about CO2 because CO2 is a building block. What God did, God created the earth and Satan went about trying to figure out how things were put together, but he doesn't know exactly. All Satan can do is make facsimiles. That's what facsimile is, it's a likeness. It's not an original. He wants to change our very composition, what we're made of. That's why people getting Alzheimer's is not normal. But what they've done, God, God even built in a blood-brain barrier so that this wouldn't happen. And Satan went along and said, I don't care, I'm going to put fluoride in the bread like they do in England. I'm going to have uh, chlorine put in swimming pools so that when the kids go in there and open their eyes and swallow the water, they'll get plenty of chlorine in them. 
so on and so forth. This whole realm that we're living in is a, is a destruction palace. It's a little shop of horrors is what it is. And, um, you know, if, if people want to ridicule, let them ridicule. If people are ridiculing you, then you must be doing something right. That's what Mozart used to say. If I weren't doing something right, I wouldn't have so many enemies. Well, unfortunately, I don't think he believed or could fathom the real evil around him. People who said they were his friends. He didn't comprehend until it was too late and he had taken the poison at the hand of his different friends. Joseph Haydn, H-A-Y-D-N. H-E-I-D-E-N in German means pagan. And they're both pronounced the same. Haydn, Haydn. Very, very similar. Then you've got Beethoven, which is bet of n. Bet of n. And it means Nichtigkeit in German. Nothingness. Nothingness. Can you imagine Beethoven killing Mozart for that little bit of fame that he had? I know that everything Mo Beethoven did was a rip-off of Mozart. His Fidelio was Figaro. And on and on it goes. I didn't really want to make this about Mozart. But, you know, I, I do draw quite a few parallels between Mozart and Messiah. And the thing is, they're keeping Mozart's memory alive. But what they've done is they've conformed him to the image of the beast. So you get a false picture of him. And anybody who tells the truth about him is ridiculed. So, I mean, where great ridicule is, you know that people are telling the truth. Even if one person tells the truth, Satan can't handle it. Mozart was one composer out of, you know, hundreds at least at that time. Take a look at um, Franz Josef Haydn, who probably was an accomplice to murder. I don't know for sure. How would I know? I'm just guessing <coughs> due to, um, due to, uh, what do you call it, evidence, evidence that um, he was murdered. But, oh no, I lost my train of thought. I coughed twice and now I can't remember what I was going to say. But, um, people ignore evidence and just turn on the TV and look for answers there. Television has become the authority <coughs> because it's populated with experts who are telling you, you know, how often am I told, you're not a meteorologist. I don't have to be a meteorologist to know what I experience. You see, this is how far it's going. They don't, they don't want you to realize that you have any say over anything. You're to believe in this virus. You're to believe in, in this Holocaust that didn't take place. The real Holocaust was World War II perpetrated upon the children of Jacob, whose blood has yet to be avenged. And you've got people saying war is fake and doesn't, I mean, come on, wake up. How stupid can people be? thing is everybody's looking for answers on the internet <coughs> you will find some truth but mostly in the form of half-truths you must use your mind <coughs> that's what studying to show yourself approved <coughs> oh, excuse me is all about using your own mind piecing together the information and the evidence that you acquire through your five senses that God gave you. Oh, I was talking about Mozart and how he could not fathom the depth, depth of evil. I hope that you're beginning to fathom the depth of evil and cruelty. Oh, there was one psalm that, I mean, there's lots of psalms, there's 150 psalms, but 
in one of the Psalms it talks about, see there's much less so-called fog here, but over there you can see plenty of fog, at least I can. Just look at the glare. Now we should have had a deep frost at night and not fog and not watery frost on my window. <coughs> there's one Psalm that talks about the wicked, evil, kings of this earth perpetrating their wicked deeds in darkness. But when the man of sin comes, they will begin to perpetrate these wicked deeds in the public square. In the public square. Why do you think they call it a square? There's nothing new under the sun. So when they talk about revival, what they're talking about is full-on paganistic rituals in the public square, beginning with the mask. <clears throat> beginning with the mask. Take a look at um, the movie Eyes Wide Shut. It's all about the masquerade taking place. Just, you can take a look at, you know, I'll, I don't think they have the full movie on internet. I bought the film a couple years ago and watched it. I watched it several times. <clears throat> you have to be careful, obviously, when you're watching these satanic movies. <clears throat> because they have a way of getting hold of your subconscious, subconscious mind. That's what NLP is all about. They're programming you without your knowledge. That's why people, you know, I marvel, people who watch a lot of TV, all they do is repeat verbatim what they have seen on TV and they think that they're erudite. They really do. They think, oh, I know something because I watch TV and oh my gosh, no. Come out of her, my people, and touch not the unclean thing. Think about your immortal life in eternity in paradise with your creator. Be conformed not to this world, but be transformed in your mind. <clears throat> Gird up the loins of your mind to be able to face the truth. Which is hideous and tyrannical. But there's power in the truth. The more, tr the more you avail yourself of the truth, the more the Lord God Almighty will give you understanding to face it, to, to, un to, to decipher it, to discern it, to discern evil and good. Satan told Adam and Eve, oh, I'm going to give you, you're going to, if you eat this fruit, you're going to know good from evil. Well, no, they didn't know good from evil. Just the opposite happened. Take a look at this fog in the city. Come on. Wake up. 